Christmas Day, 2005, continuing to uh, report on Jack. Jack continues to um, have this compulsion to chew away on his dew claw, which is just a little nub right now. As you can see, he's totally destroyed it. He chews relentlessly all the time. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Come here, Jackie. There's a little stub right there where he used to be, and he will just chew on that and chew on that. I can see it there. He never had that problem until he had the uh, the uh, Merck vaccines, the uh, Bordetella, the distemper, and the rabies shots back on March 28th of this year. And uh, after that, he also developed a problem in the ear, which is going to be treated uh, within the next week. He's going to have to undergo an operation, which is going to cost a minimum of $400. And I could show you what happened here. And he never had this until after the vaccines. And there it is, right there. Oh, it's hard to see real good. But you could see that growth that came up. It's horrible. Yeah, sorry, boy. But you could see he will just relentlessly chew away with a nervous reaction. Because he's still not right. The big um, improvement that we've had just the past couple of days is he's finally able to uh, jump back onto the sofa, which he hadn't been able to do uh, since he got sick back on March 28th from the from the uh, Merck vaccines. And uh, so we're really delighted about that. Unfortunately, he does have to undergo anesthesia to, to remove that growth on his ear which I said he never had that before either. We we're hoping that the anesthesia doesn't represent a setback with his uh, neurological uh, issues. You can see what he does here. He does this every day. His will won't stop. And his brain doesn't work right anymore. And these were immediate reactions even before he got home from the veterinarian on March 28th, he started having nervous uh, panting, which I've previously documented. I have about, oh, I think I've got over 45 videos documenting Jack right from the, almost from the, from the day. And um, be really, really cautious. Never uh, permit your veterinarian to give your uh, pet dog more than one vaccine at a time. Jack received three at once. He's an older dog and he weighs only, at that time he weighed only 17 pounds. So you have to be very careful. I have to make a decision now within the next couple of days because the uh, Merck Pharmaceutical Company is refusing to pay for all of Jack's medical expenses. And I have uh, spent a tremendous amount of time and research and to no avail, because they will give us some money to pay strictly for some of the uh, neurological-related uh, visits uh, regarding his MRI and his spinal tap uh, and the neurologist appointment, but as far as his regular veterinarian visits and the infections he received on his feet because he was knuckling and he couldn't walk correctly, his feet got infected, which caused he chewed on those, which then got his eye infected. So there's... There's, um, there was a lot more expense other than the neurological, but the Merck Pharmaceutical Company is simply unwilling to pay for that. And my point being that there is no information from the um, company, from Merck, with regards to uh, informed consent, an information sheet, anything that would that, that give you any indication whatsoever that there is possible danger uh, with these uh, vaccines uh, receiving more than one at a time. Like I said, Jack received three at once. And that is, uh, through my research, that is a well-known 
a danger. And matter of fact, Merck maintains that they're following whatever information, procedures, and warnings and labels that they're supposed to. But the fact of the matter is, when Jack has gone for these shots before, there is zero, not so much as one sheet of paper with any kind of information whatsoever with regards to any dangers or advisories or uh, interactions with regards to the um, vaccines. And I have even um, was sure to copy uh, the people at Merck that are uh, in, in that area of um, labelings and warnings and information to the public. And the legal director simply says uh, he's instructed his people to, whenever they receive anything from me, to forward it to him. So this is, a, uh, in my estimation, a, uh, it's a cover-up, and I hope that at some point in time uh, our elected representatives, who incidentally received contributions from the Merck Pharmaceutical Company, particularly um, with regards to, say, uh, the Gardasil vaccine, uh, met, uh, drug that they've uh, got through the uh, California require uh, actually where where young children um, can go in and get these uh, vaccines uh, the Gardasil uh, without the acknowledgement from the for information to the parents uh, and there were quite a number of um, elected representatives out there that received um, donations from uh, Merck on this and I, I just don't think that that's right because it tends to skew their judgment. Um, and the public here is left with problems, just as you see right here. In addition to that, Jack is no longer housebroken, and almost every single day of the week, and sometimes two and three times a day, there's his poop on the floor to clean up in the house here, um, because he just forgotten to to go outside. Now, it's not saying he won't go outside, but it, if he just happens to be out there, but he is no longer housebroken in any in any sense of the word. Um, he's actually I put him on our bed once, and he actually pooped right on our bed. Somewhere I think I'd have a video of that, but I'll, I'll spare that distasteful uh, scene. So, there's Jackie. Let's hope he's going to be okay after this new... Uh, operation on his ear and you can see what we have to contend with again make sure you do not you know, regardless of whatever your veterinarian happens to tell you hold your ground do not let your dog get more than one vaccine at a time they have to be spread out and if you don't want to uh, take my advice do research on the on the internet uh, check out the videos uh, check out my videos uh, and I do make reference to some of these other uh, doctors. I've sent uh, numerous lengthy, well-researched papers, to, including to the uh, president of the Merck Animal uh, Health and, uh, and Merck, and they just push the stuff off onto the legal department. And, uh, you know, Merck is, I think, about a $47 billion company, so you're dealing with a monster here. Never had this problem until he received his vaccines. So everyone, on that note, wish you all a Merry Christmas. Have a good day.